My name is Bridget Butler. I'm a teacher here at West Ashley High School. At this time, I would like to thank Chris and Chandra for coming in because their energy is dynamic. They're able to feed off of one another. Chris comes in, you know, and he's really kind of cool and collective, and he gets his point across, and you know he's an expert on it, but, you know, he's a little bit calmer. Chandra brings that high power over the top, and I love it because she's able to actually bring in statistics and real stories. So it's like they're getting to the gang. They're really, really good. And I truly love it. The kids can relate to them. Um, the kids are able to talk open and honestly and don't feel like they're going to be judged. I truly enjoy the training for not only me but for my students because it actually, um, I actually got to see them engage in a meaningful conversation. And I got to see a different side of them, their personalities, um, them to actually think about what they're doing um, and the consequences are what it may lead to in the relationships that they have. Actually having these conversations now, especially as a teenager, they get to see the relationship they're in, evaluating them now, and then thinking ahead to what do they want their future to look like. It was a big difference to see what they knew and what they learned or what they thought they knew. Some kids have experienced it and they have experienced it on a different level or on different levels. And honestly, some of the things that they were doing or some of the signs that were there they would have never thought as a normal sign that could actually lead into the domestic violence or the dating violence among them and their peers. It's definitely a resource that they'll be thinking back to, especially having a student come in today and say, I went home and I spoke to my mom about it. Um, and her being able to relate back, my mom and I have these conversations all the time, but it was a bonus for her to know that I was actually learning about this in class and being able to talk to someone who knows a lot and who may be considered an expert on the topic. Um, and then also to be able for, for my kids to be able to hear what their other peers are thinking um, about the topic um, and what they have experienced. It really catches your attention. Um, it makes you want to be involved in the conversation that's going on. I um, want to ask questions and want to know what your students' are, answers are going to be. And after the first day, my kids were hungry for more. And my students were so engaged that we didn't really get to go through the full um, program. And I really do think that the time needs to be longer. So if I had to do it again, I would actually make it a field trip where my students would stay in my class um, the full day. Or I would have Chris and Chandra come in and actually do a week-long course because there's so much to cover. The kids are engaged. Um, there's a lot for them to take away from it. Um, and again, it's a resource that they can use in the future. That's why I think the program should be a little bit longer because the kids really enjoy them um, and just really, they, they were hungry for more. They were hungry for more um, and Chandra and Chris gave them a lot of information that they can use. I think it should be widespread because this platform gives them that outlet of I can express what I feel or I can express what I um, express what I know. Um, I can get to see the real the real side of it. Someone can have empathy. Someone empathizes with me of uh, what's going on. So it's really good. I would really love to see this program in all schools. I think all classes would benefit from it. I want to bring it back and actually open it up to my entire school body. Like it's really, really that good. Um, and we have domestic violence, our dating violence here at the high school level. So the kids really need to see this and be informed about it.